The vocabulary used in economics and finance is essential for accurately describing economic phenomena, financial transactions, and broader economic theories. Below is a detailed explanation with examples. Vocabulary for economics. 1. Gross domestic product, GDP. 1. Definition, the total value of all goods and services produced by a country within a specific time frame. 2. Example, the GDP of the country increased by 3% in the last quarter. 2. Inflation. 1. Definition, the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising and, subsequently, purchasing power is falling. 2. Example, inflation has been kept under control, staying within the target range set by the central bank. 3. Monetary policy. 1. Definition. The policy implemented by the central bank to control the money supply and interest rates to achieve economic goals. 2. Example. The central bank adjusted its monetary policy to stimulate economic growth. 4. Fiscal policy. 1. Definition. The use of government spending and taxation to influence the economy. 2. Example. The government introduced expansionary fiscal policies to combat the economic recession. 5. Supply and demand. 1. Definition. The fundamental economic concept that describes the relationship between the availability of a good or service and its desirability. 2. Example. The equilibrium price is determined by the intersection of supply and demand curves. 6. Opportunity cost. 1. Definition. The value of the next best alternative foregone when a decision is made. 2. Example. Choosing to invest in stocks rather than bonds has an opportunity cost associated with potential interest income. Vocabulary for finance. 1. Asset allocation. 1. Definition. The strategy of spreading investments across different asset classes to achieve a balance of risk in return. 2. Example. A well-diversified portfolio includes asset allocation across stocks, bonds, and real estate. 2. Liquidity. 1. Definition. The ease with which an asset can be converted into cash without affecting its price. 2. Example. Cash and government bonds are considered highly liquid assets. 3. Derivative. 1. Definition. A financial instrument whose value is derived from the value of an underlying asset. 2. Example. Futures and options are common examples of derivative instruments. 4. Capital markets. 1. Definition. Financial markets where long-term securities such as stocks and bonds are bought and sold. 2. Example. The New York Stock Exchange is a major capital market where stocks are traded. 5. Credit rating. 1. Definition. An assessment of the creditworthiness of an individual, corporation, or government. 2. Example. A higher credit rating allows a borrower to access loans at lower interest rates. 6. Hedging. 1. Definition. A risk management strategy used to offset potential losses in an investment by taking an opposite position in a related asset. 2. Example. A company may use futures contracts to hedge against adverse movements in commodity prices. Explanation and usage. Precision in analysis. 1. Precise vocabulary allows economists and financial professionals to convey complex ideas with accuracy and clarity. Policy implications. 1. Using terms like monetary policy and fiscal policy enables discussions about government interventions and their effects on the economy. Investment strategies. 1. Vocabulary related to finance, such as asset allocation and hedging, helps investors make informed decisions and manage risks. Economic indicators. 1. Terms like GDP and inflation are crucial for interpreting economic indicators and understanding the overall health of an economy. Market dynamics. 1. Understanding phrases like supply and demand and liquidity is fundamental to grasping market dynamics and making effective financial decisions. In conclusion, a strong command of vocabulary in economics and finance is vital for professionals in these fields. It allows for precise communication, facilitates informed decision-making, and enhances the understanding of complex economic and financial concepts.